I don't think people understand the true terror of Hawthorne Hollow. Once, in a small, isolated town surrounded by dense woods and shrouded in mist, Halloween was a time for celebration. But for the residents of Hawthorne Hollow, it became a season of terror. As the leaves changed colour and fell to the ground, a series of gruesome murders unfolded. It started with Sarah, a young schoolteacher beloved by her students. One chilly October night, after attending a Halloween party, she was found dead in her home, a single carved pumpkin on her doorstep, lit by a flickering candle, the sinister grin illuminated by the glow. Her body bore eerie markings resembling the designs on the pumpkin, as if the killer had taken inspiration from the very holiday meant to celebrate the harvest. As the townsfolk mourned, fear began to grip the community. Rumours spread of a dark figure seen lurking in the woods, a relentless predator preparing for more carnage. Each night leading up to Halloween, another victim would emerge. First it was the local baker, then a mechanic, and even the mayor. Each scene was more horrifying than the last, a pattern forming around the full moon, which intensified the townspeople's dread. In the midst of this chaos, a local girl named Claire, determined to uncover the truth, took it upon herself to investigate. She had a history of helping her father, a retired detective, solve cases. Armed with nothing but a flashlight and her courage, she ventured into the woods, convinced that the killer was using the darkness as a cover. As midnight approached on Halloween, Claire found herself deeper in the woods than ever before. The air was thick with silence, broken only by the rustle of leaves. Suddenly she heard footsteps behind her, heavy, deliberate, and closing in fast. Panic surged through her veins as she took off running. The thrill of the chase was palpable, the fear of being caught pushing her beyond her limits. Adrenaline pumping, Claire darted through the trees, her heart racing as she narrowly avoided branches that clawed at her. She could hear the footsteps growing louder and closer, a deep, sinister laugh echoing around her. Her breath was ragged as she stumbled upon an old, abandoned cabin. Desperate for safety, she pushed the door open and slipped inside. Inside, she discovered old newspaper clippings taped to the walls, detailing unsolved murders from previous Halloweens, connecting them back to the present horrors plaguing the town. The chilling realization struck her. This wasn't the first time the killer had struck. Suddenly, the door creaked open and there stood the figure from her nightmares, a masked man with the same grin as the jack-o'-lantern that had greeted Sarah that fateful night. You shouldn't have come here, he said, his voice sinister and low. With nowhere left to run, Claire grabbed a rusty axe from the corner of the room. A fierce battle ensued. The masked man lunged at her, but she fought back instinctively, the weight of the axe guiding her resolve. In a flurry of movement, she managed to swing the axe, striking him down. As the moonlight streamed through the broken windows, Claire stood over the masked figure, breathing heavily, the reality of what just happened dawning upon her. She had escaped the nightmare, but as she stepped outside, the scream of sirens echoed in the night air, revealing that the terror wasn't truly over. From the shadows of the woods, a new figure emerged, holding a pumpkin, its wicked grin glimmering in the dark, a chilling reminder that death had become a twisted tradition in Hawthorne Hollow. The townspeople thought they could celebrate Halloween again, but they would forever look over their shoulders, haunted by the specter of the masked killer who might return. And every time they carved their pumpkins, they would remember the darkness that lurked just beyond the light.